Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan. Yep. In today's episode, we put ourselves in some tight situations. I'm a pretty limber guy. As we put in the floor insulation to our yurt. No heat is escaping this yurt. Follow along with us today as we get to work under the yurt. All right, did it fit? Did I do it right? Call that a win. <sighs> Between navigating the small space. This episode should just be called, uh and figuring out how to protect ourselves from falling spray foam. Ryan just arrived in his spray foam outfit. You guys, get ready. We have our work cut out for us. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on a minute of our adventures. Okay, we are starting a little project today. Um, we are gonna start putting the insulation under our yurt. Now, if you remember way back from when we first laid the yurt floor, if you watch the video carefully, we don't finish the insulation before we put on all the flooring. We finished about half of it. And our reasoning was, hey, we can crawl under the yurt once this is done. And we were under a time constraint like we always seem to be. So we decided we'll just climb under the yurt later on and put the, the insulation in. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. I'm hating that this was our choice then, but it really was. We had to get the flooring, the platform done in the time that we had. So it's, it is what it is. So here we go. This will be the most fun project we've ever done. I feel like I already feel the pain of the wild, wonderful people. Going underneath their house that whole time, I know. And this is like, I don't know, this project is pretty small that we're about to do. Yeah, nothing compared to theirs. Like army crawl. Yep. All right, that's a good one, Ryan. Far you are under there to that house. People being like, gosh, she didn't do anything. Mm. Just toss it to me. Not working. It does not like to just easily cut. Okay. So if you just watched all that, we got we did a full sheet and it's really hard to navigate under there, so we're gonna, Brian's cutting it in half and he's gonna pull it back out and we need to cut off a little bit from it. Scratch that, Ryan's gonna pound it up there. more of those do we have to do? Five? Oh, that's not terrible at all. This will be fun. <laughs> is it? Is it the wrong way? I don't know. Is it turned the wrong way? All right, so what do we just need to pull it off and take like a quarter inch off of it? Did it fit? Did I do it right? Call that a win. Sweet. This is the last piece of this row. I think it, Only. Might be, it might be the last piece of today. Only three more rows, but they get smaller. This is the longest one. You're like, I'm out of here. You gonna sit right there and just watch us? One row done. Well, except for the spray foam part. Yeah. Except for the spray foam part. Okay. You look pretty limber under there, you know? 
I'm a pretty limber guy. Oh, there you go. No heat is escaping this yurt. We're wrapping up this day. Ryan is still under the yurt putting in the spray foam. So we got one complete row done and we have three more done. But I told Ryan I thought we got the longest one done, but he said no because we didn't go as far on one, but whatever. Uh, oh, it's not fun down there. Anyway, though, I'm going to do cleanup crew and then it'll be the sun will start setting because it gets so dark so early right now. And that's our night. Okay, we were getting ready to make coffee and our um, a guy pulled up from our foundation place and he has all the forms are getting dropped off today. Uh, we have some good news and we have some bad news. Uh, you can probably hear from behind us uh, what the good news is. Our concrete foundation company is behind us. They're unloading the forms, so we're making progress, progress there. The bad news is, is we just got an email from the project manager and they're not going to be out to build the forms until Monday. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> so a lot of our plans are going to shift now. Um, we planned on in this episode showing you the forms going up and doing some other small projects. So we're going to shift now to getting some cleanup done, some trees down, prepping for when the inspection comes. That's like marking the boundaries and really just making sure everything's in line so we know where the foundation vents are going. Uh, just so we have all the answers for when the when they come on Monday. All right, well that's the update. So some good news, some bad news, and we'll uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Yep. All right. So our guy that was bringing out the forms got all of them off of his truck and is gone. And now we decided to tackle a little bit of the fire behind us. Um, it you know it won't go up super fast because it is so wet. So we're kind of. You know, we didn't just like light it and hope for one big, huge fire happening because we know that that's a little unrealistic. But getting a little bit of it out of the way would be fantastic. All right, we are doing some road maintenance this morning, and then we are going to be getting the insulation to our yurt hopefully completed in this episode for you guys. That is our goal for sure. Ryan is already down the road, and he's been scooping some rock from the road that I'm walking on <laughs> and taking it down to the road down there. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a shovel so I can meet him down there and help him out. I came with a shovel. I came prepared. All right, peeps, Ryan says, hey, let's go do the insulation in the yurt. And then I come out here and he's in the yurt and he's trying to put up our insulation for the window. So I'm gonna go see what he's doing in there 
And then we're going to do the really fun job that we don't want to do at all, doing the floor insulation. Maybe this goes on the outside. Oh, between the two. Oh, yeah, because it clips got... to the rolly things. So that piece that Ryan just had in there he was fiddling with, it just comes in and it clips to these clips that usually roll, like hold the rolled up tarp part. Well, no. Kind of makes sense. No, usually, these ones are right here. Yeah, but you click from those ones underneath over the rolled up part to those top ones. It, it I'm correct. They're different clips. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. I was like, try and then we just zip it up and zoop, zoop. And now tonight it's going to be so warm. And then kind of boom, boom, boom on this and no, then notch it. I don't know if you want to boom, 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 but, uh, but yeah, something like that. Boom, boom, boom. Hold on. I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> All right, let's do the next sheet. Cause then you're going to put on a hazmat suit and come in here and spray foam it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that'll probably take me 10 hours, <laughs> but maybe I'm better at it now. Okay. Push it forward. <laughs> Yeah! You got a nail for me? Uh, I just need to go get Oh! <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay. That's got not it? Not very far, but it's in far enough. It's just the tip. <laughs> Losing my mind. We just need to measure this. So if you give me the um, the tape measure, I will measure it. I got it right here for you. I got it. I got it. You know, sometimes I just sing all these silly songs because like this is a terrible job. And the only way to get through it is being really goofy. Pretty much. It's the only way to build our dreams in the hood canal. Gotta chase your <laughs> dreams. 44 inches. It's actually 44 and a quarter. But if we do 44, it'll be muy perfecto. We're making pretty good progress on our insulation. So I am going under and putting in this last insulation piece that we have from the newer stuff that we just purchased. And then we have two more sheets that we can cut and we're gonna see how far those take us. And then we have some random scraps. So we might be able to finish the whole thing. I have a feeling we're gonna need one more piece. Ryan's going into change because he's going to go under and spray foam what we just did while I start working on the next rounds and we'll see how far we get. Okay, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ryan just arrived in his spray foam outfit. You guys get ready. Here, back it up. Back it up, boy. What you got on? Armor. <laughs> got on a... <laughs> I need gloves. <laughs> a plastic there you go. You're ready. You kind of look like the Tin Man. Yeah. This is awesome. Thank you. This could go with that TikTok. That's my man. That's my top. That's my top. <laughs> Ryan just got done spray foaming in his really cool get up on the last row that we just did. Um, and now we have two more sheets of insulation that we had from the first time we did all of this. So we're going to start that now. There he goes. Uh, God. This job, I don't know, we're, we're in good spirits still, but we're both over it. It's cold and Ryan has to wear a trash bag. What do you think about my new look? <laughs> Stop procrastinating, let's Ryan, get to work. Yeah, we're gonna get the job done, right? Okay, yes. anything else you wanna tell the people? No. Spray foam sucks, man. You think it's gonna be cool. Yeah, it got stuck to our dog's little donut she wears on her neck. It just gets on everything. Yeah, I wore gloves today though, so. Yeah, so his hands are looking better. All right, here we go. This 
Spray foam got him, guys. <sighs> Spray <laughs> foam. <laughs> Gonna have to tend to that. <laughs> oh, well, we're close to the end of our day. We have a bit of cleaning up to do mm -hmm. from our insulation project. What do yep. we have? One sheet left. We to have do? like one, like little weird pieces to put in there. And Ryan <sighs> ran out of spray foam, but we're basically done. So we're calling it a win. Yep. I feel like we made amazing progress today. Yeah, we were on, on a roll. And working um, good together. And and for a project that sucks, I feel like we both stayed in pretty good spirits the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Crawling under. <laughs> under a yurt i mean yeah i guess that's the one thing i've learned from all these projects like when they really suck you just have to it's try to through. have some fun and make the most of it and what else do we have to be doing today i don't know get, get a try little bit closer you know <laughs> we probably have a lot we could do today but this was when when else do you get to climb under a yurt all right well we're gonna we're gonna clean up and we're this... gonna go warm up because my toes are yeah, freezing, freezing. And this is where we're going to leave you for this episode. Yep. Thanks for watching. And if you liked uh, this episode, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.